Looking at the bottom lane, Boxy is still level 1. He gave a lot of XP to 33, who is running low on HP. You are playing Enigma. Demonic summoning costs 75 HP nowadays, so need to bring that extra region. As soon as he hits level 2, they can start to play slightly more aggressive. I don't think Duraccio is going to die, but uh, yeah, Insania will get the solo kill. Celery playing that right side of the lane, but look at where Boxy set up here. Blood Grenade, Avalanche, Duraccio down to pretty much no mana remaining. He is handed over a little bit of regen and 3-3 going to pop his stick. He's dead though. I don't get the kill on anybody. You know, Quinn could very easily be up in that top lane, but he's farming, being efficient, and also booting Mikke out of the lane, forcing him to jungle, giving Ace a completely free lane to play into with that one little move. Yeah, you see Celery in Michael. the mid lane collecting XP. You know something's happening. There's that rotation from the Lash that we mentioned. Without Lash Rack, you definitely don't have the damage. And now Celery needs to run away. Stampede has been used. But it's not enough. So this should be the tower, and they Radiant can also bottom potentially bottom help out Mikkei top. Blast off. Yeah, Mikkei trying to turn and fight back nice. into Tofu, but the reactive Boxy. taser. Boxy gonna help out. Tofu nearly dead. Getting a bit of distance, but the tree toss is there. As Ace turns and stomps onto the TA, but a double kill emerges for Boxy. Saving Mikkei, keeping him alive, getting Nisha and Boxy involved. Very nicely done as Liquid. Turning the tables on this early aggression that Gaming Gladiators have been bringing. Yeah. I don't want to exaggerate very too low. much, but uh, yeah, very low. Boxy and Nisha now smoking inside a triangle to try to steal some of the stacks, but there are no stacks. So if it was trying to make one, caught in the act. And Miko steps up, hits the centaur a couple of times. They're playing aggressively onto Ace here. They saw that smoke coming. Nice, nice lift. lift off. Stops the blast off, but Quinn is still charging forward. The stolen plasma field, good slow and damage onto Tofu and Quinn, but they've got a static link on this Templar Assassin. Mickey, he's just dead up in this top lane. Pushing out that top lane with Blink on Enigma. They want a fight up there, but Mickey is the one that's being surrounded over in his own ancient spot. Celery comes in from behind, Tofu over the top. Every angle and axis you look at, it's Game Gladiator is bringing the numbers, not just to get the kill, but to clear the stacks as well. If you lose one fight, we're talking about these tier 2, tier 3 towers close to your base. This might be just lights out, or at least the start of it. Toss back. Nice. Great split earth as well. Boxy gonna get stunned up here. Cancel the TP when he saw it coming, but the black hole. Three threes on top of both of them. Razor being dragged back into the damage from the Lesh and Rubik. Stampede, does that buy him enough space? Boxy says no. Absolutely not. Shuts them down. Three kills in a row. Very well done by Liquid yet again. And they're hunting again. Up in that top outer ring of jungle camps. They're going to spot that there's creeps missing and an illusion from Nisha sees Ace allowing Boxy to get in there with a stun. A steal on the double edge. Probably not what Insania wanted. But Ace is absolutely dead up here. Surrounded by liquid heroes. As they bring the numbers and they bring the tempo in this first 15 minutes. It's going to be 12 to 5. A 7k lead emerging for Team Liquid. And it seems like that's what Liquid are really doing here. Dictating the pace of play. And Game Gladiator is the one... Kind of left Ooh, responding, trap. trying to figure out how they want to enter these fights. Trap scouted them, and there's another trap. Boxy's in. Oh, Boxy straight back in again. Blows up Tofu with Insania. And now Duraccio. Uh, what, what can Quinn do to save him? <laughs> that doesn't look like much. They're going to have to stone gaze and try and run away. Nice. He used Stolen. the split shot. <laughs> yeah. Insania the was dying blocks. on him. Boxy again. Wow, Not enough mana for a got... toss. They just gave him. Ooh, now they've got it. Toss it back into Mickey to finish off the Medusa. They started off with the body blocks out of 3-3's three Eidolons. The chase is on towards that mid lane as well. Maybe if they can catch up to Celery. 99% of the time. You don't need the spell lifesteal. You don't need the lifesteal. It's more about the night, night vision. vision. So, he can, yeah. Yeah, so he can get those toss backs. So he can see the it's Medusa. It's night time. He can just toss her back. Stone Gaze used. 3-3 three, three, already now. spent his blink, but now we've got the plasma field, the telekinesis, trying to lift and drag people back into this fight as Nietzsche sprints forward into the depths of Gaming Gladiator's lines, blowing up Celery and Tofu as the out supports crumbled. 3-3 three, three still has Black Hole. Blink not available enough. in a second. Might not even need it as Liquid just running roughshod over Gaming Gladiators with a five-man wipe incoming. They annihilate them one by one. They've tossed 3-3 three, three away from Danger as well. It is just superb. Incredible, fantastic gameplay from Liquid here in game one. Reduce the healing that comes out from Leshrac. Uh, all three cores are ranged. Jump in again. Boxy. Oh. Toss back. Oh. Dead immediately. Oh. 
That's a centaur with max retaliate, blade mail, level 11. Mel strike minus armor just, dis just disintegrates him. And now they've got Edict with Deso hits onto this tier 3, forcing the glyph already. 23 minutes in, yes, Team Liquid. Regeneration rune. Oh, you're right. So regen rune plus Aegis, and now the dive into base, blowing up the techies. A taste of his own medicine as Boxy goes deep. Oh, Boxy's stuck. Off to the side, but he is stuck. He's got a Lotus to play with, a little bit of regen, but the rest of his team not going to be saving him. It looks like he's going to die, finally falling. Razor in trouble though, pops the Manta to get away from Nisha. Half HP on his left track now. All liquid, they've gone a step too far. Bloodstone, they've got they have the damage. Ace moving forward of the Nisha, life still back up with the they Bloodstone, do? but dead nonetheless. BKB timing's pretty important here for Liquid to try and keep the ball rolling. Boxy knows. They just use the scan. He caught You're Medusa, right. plants down OBS. Inside the ancient camp. He will find it. Toss onto the Rubik. And Duraccio being lifted and dragged around. Wait, 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 you meant to go? The stampede's there, but the black hole comes in 3-3. Says this Medusa is well worth my time, my cooldown, and all the effort we'll put into it. Another avalanche required as the Ratchet will get cleared out by Nisha's magic damage. Eidolon's pushing that bottom lane, forcing Quinn and Ace to both be here. Liquid smoked up and trying to use this opening. They're up on the ramp in this bottom lane. Boxy's going to combo the Razor. Gets off the BKB though, Quinn. And a Blink Stomp from Ace going to catch out Insania. Rubik, that point of contact that they'll blow up and take down. While Boxy's, Boxy's in looks trouble. like he's going to be the second casualty. A blast off and the damage from this Razor. Enough to take him out. And Templar Assassin. Oh, Nisha from the high ground. Can we get much done here? Enigma on the run, but the Blink Stomp comes. Another catch as Gaming Gladiator to defend their base with numbers. And Team Liquid, again, just a, a bit over-eager to try and close this one out. Ogre Seal Totem back to the high ground. Nisha still getting tagged up, though. A lot of slows and control coming his way. Mekka and Nisha might have to stand and fight. A Blink Stomp from Centaur catching Lash. Life stealing back up a bit with a Bloodstone, Ooh, but when that comes to Mickey. an end, they've got tons of damage on the Lash Rack. Mickey's trying to blow up Ace and Quinn, but they'll get the Razor out of there, just losing the Centaur. Blink's back to high ground, but the Glimmer came. Evading the okay. damage, and now Mickey <laughs> slowed down. He went back in aggressively. BKB TP looks like it should be successful at least. But Gaming Gladiators, they've Radiant repurposed themselves, smoking in behind Duraccio. Looking for the wraparound. The back lines of Liquid here. A little exposed. Uh -oh, 33. 33 blinks away. Quick fingers. Gets out of the grasps of Quinn. They jump in with Ace, but the Avalanche toss out of Boxy. Clips onto the Centaur, and the turnaround focus. Very good from Liquid to try and blow him up, but now they've got a Halberd. TA no longer able to dish out damage. And Nisha with his BKB. Having that static link on him is kind of awkward. Mickey stuck on the low ground in the water. Quinn, the black hole, 3-3, three, three, he's in. The two cores caught up in it, and Mickey just unloads the damage. Takes out Quinn and Duraccio, no mana remaining. He's in the Midnight Pulse and being obliterated. Liquid finally get another big black hole to secure a team fight victory. Surprisingly enough, it's insane here that grabs the double kill. Tofu gonna get found here by boxing Mickey. A bounty rune for his troubles, but dead nonetheless. As Roshan, the pit. And the bottom right corner belongs to Liquid with some great back and forth execution. I mean, look at where 3 3 is right now. And this is so efficient. Your team is pushing, bullying, trying to start fights, and you're just like, I'm jungling and I'm TPing top. I'm going to push out top wave, guys. There's farm to be gathered up. I'm fourth in net worth as an Enigma. That's just not allowed. Another jump in from Boxy. Blink toss back. Melt strike damage onto Quinn. They've got to jump onto Mickey's TA, but again, protection from Liquid. Force staffing, drifting people out of danger, forcing Duraccio here to come out of the base and pop the Manta style. Damage from TA, not going to come fast enough for the toss back. Yet again, Medusa being focused. Another mana. strike, a move from Nisha. Mana is all gone. All the mana gone. In a second, but 3 here. Big black, black hole. hole. Secures the kill onto Duraccio, it looks like. Hang on. He's healing back up a little bit. Nisha not able to get the job done. Black hole didn't take down the Medusa. She's back towards Fountain, but they'll get the Centaur now at the very least. Mickey still moving forward, looking at Quinn. Plasma field in. But Team Liquid, they've got to fall back and just hit the barracks, get the buildings. So close to basically just winning this game. Pretty much. We're up to the black hole, getting closer to that BKB. They want to finish off these range barracks. Take down the buildings. The melee. Get both of them. Top lane's also open as well. Boxy gonna use this opportunity to go on Quinn. Oh, the Boxy's tremendous overwhelming damage, but he's still not dead. Tanks through the rest of it. Ace is in again. Yules into the sky and the kill off Boxy now. There is Nullifier now on Medusa. Have they bought down for this? Going in. Only Razor has body back. 
they have to buy. Whoever has buyback available. Celery's buyback is Ooh. ready. Pretty gold. Mickey, he's too quick for them. Ace tried to jump on in. So many Yules and Wind Wakers send people skywards and he's destroyed. He even threw the Stampede and now a black hole right onto Quinn's Razor. He's down and out. Buyback is available for him, but the focus shifts very quickly over to the Medusa now. 33 with a refresh backup. Another black hole. He's Medusa's not even looking at her. You can't do a damn thing. The no look black hole. Gorgeous stuff. Game and Gladys come out of their base to try to chase down Nisha, but another Wind Waker back to the sky over the cliffs far away. He's safe and sound. <laughs> Where is she? As Mickey turns on the Medusa. <laughs> Everybody's everywhere. Liquid just running rampant over Game and Gladiators here in game one and forcing. Those G's to come out in the old chat. Game yeah, 33, one. What a player. Like the way Ooh. he turns, 180, no scope. Black hole coming up from Enigma. So he doesn't get stunned even during the stone gaze. Very well executed. A bit of battling once more, burning through all this early regen, but Ace has a salve to fall back on and he's got away from the Jingu stags of Mickey. Like it. I mean, gap close wise, Liquid are relying on Monkey King plus X Mark. If I use the Monkey King now, considering the Wukong's command, but realizing he doesn't need it. Now the sniper's shown his face, though. Wukong's to catch out Tofu. A bit more magic nuke here from Nisha. Uh -oh, Turning on to Quinn. Quinn. He's in there trouble. We go with the Illuminator over the top. The sniper joins the fight and loses his life. I guess bottom tower as well being cliffed. There's a catapult on uh, it. They but know. It's funnier if it's he just should, the melee creep. Out. I think he should TP out as soon as he saw that scan he's connecting. Dead. Quinn. He's not getting out of this one. Well done by Tofu. Holding his lift. Making sure he's in position here. To absolutely secure the kill. Not even wasting the mana on it. That's uh, a lot. That's 45. And then you have 20% coming out from Ooh. Orb of Corrosion. Jeez. Coddle is one mean hero. Solar Bind, what an ability. I mean, 10 minutes in, he's just doing a thousand damage in a second. We haven't seen it in action yet, but it also does allow you roar. On the monkey. McKay with a boundless strike and the Wukongs. Getting disposed around. Insania, though, has this false promise, and the life steal out of the Jingu might be able the to keep the heals are coming alive. out. He's Tons got a back of heals. full HP. Illuminate Jingu, he's back to full. Jumping onto Quinn, the Solar Bind is in, and Quinn is dead, blasted off the face of the map. Oh, Take Mickey. the mid lane. He's, he's going for enemy XP rune. The TP Cobalt. on Cobalt. <laughs> Co oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rubik does get the wisdom rune. The relocating onto Mickey now. Oh, dangerous times for Liquid. The reactions and responses from Gaming Gladiators. Very strong move from this IO and Marcy. Nisha and Sainia trying to get away with the blinding light to push them back. Torrent stolen. That was so close. I think he was slight. Like, he needed like 0.1 second to be able to get it. It was very close. 33, still going to go deep here to try and oh, find Tofu. The but, oh, the Illuminate from more long heels. range. Gandalf and his white horses down the river, taking one down. But 33 is deep behind enemy line. He's disposed and killed. And Insania might be the straggler that's just left stranded here. Gaming Gladiators have got the movement speed and the catch to chase him down. He's not going to ulti himself. Just die and accept your fate. We'll move from Liquid here. Nisha heading into enemy ancients again. I'll leave Quinn. that to you. You are using the words such as pendulum recently. <laughs> Swing the pendulum. Oh no, Quinn. Yeah, He's trying to TP out. Gunka. Brambles. Oh, that was such a nice play. I don't think he would be able to get out, but stack, create stacks. more creeps out of creep camps. There we go. Who, who are they going to find? Ace. That's a big target. Boxy. Roar on top of him. Dies immediately. It does get peeped. 3-3. Three, three. X mark on the IO. And Cottle TPing up to this top lane as they torrent and slice into the IO. Duraccio trapped in the Wukong's command as well. Trying to break away from it. Rebounding over the top of Rubik. Barely surviving. Quinn and Tofu holding that right hand side. But it's Ace on the left. He's being jumped upon. TP attempted and succeeding. Smoke from Liquid. They see the Marcy and the IO. Who have they gone for first? X Mark in the boat, I think, on Duraccio to drag him back in. No, it's Ace. Beastmaster, tornadoed, hurricaned away from danger, but Mickey will come in and claim the life regardless as Celery. The second point of contact for Mickey to clean up, jumping over the trees, and from the canopy, he gets the Gleipnir down onto this. Marcy, oh, you're the not battling. Storm. Oh, Marcy's down, even past the force field, offering no protection for gaming gladiators.
Yeah, things are gonna get, get even more difficult. Uh, there are some big items coming out. Mickey, SNY, Bagon on Misha, and look at all these heals. <laughs> Even Seeds of Serenity drop everybody back to full HP. Mech, the heal from Coddle. This is just an insane draft from Team Liquid. Love to see nice. these types of draft work. Because we're definitely going to see that more. Well, Whoa. maybe. Depends. Uh, Patches drop mid-April. Tofu. Bramble May stolen afterwards. Keeping them inside the Wukongs. The Rubik statues do literally nothing. Monkey King's going to move forward and Wukongs from himself, trying to force Tofu away, dragged back in to the grasp of Liquid to claim his life. Dead for 30 seconds, and the tier 3 tower already had half HP. The way well, they're pushing, sure this, expect but... Liquid to have ages, but they don't. They're just exactly. pushing all these heals. Beastmaster down to half HP already. What can you do? Look, if he gets the jump, a Boundless, he's dead. Two man hit with a Boundless. X mark now on the Sniper. Bow's gonna land, Io's dead, Gaming Gladiators. I can't throne. I think they're done. <laughs> I don't think they that there's comeback in this game. There's no two two tower in the mid lane. They can just run it down, get another set of barracks. Gaming gladiators just don't have the damage. They don't have this burst damage that they need to go through the sustain. Holy moly! Twenty two minutes in, lane of falls, and Liquid just steps away from forcing the capitulation of gaming gladiators here in game number two. This is elimination time. Don't forget lower bracket game two in the best of three. Liquid a game up. Gaming Gladiator is a step away from being dumped out of the tournament. BKB on Marcy. If they lose this fight, that's pretty much game over. You're going to have way too much gold advantage. There is the last glyph from Gaming Gladiators. I can't wait to see the socials after this. And Gaming Gladiators have been having fun with the old dumpster gifts. We'll see what Liquid brings to the table once they've swept through this. And another chance here with a roar onto the Monkey King. Gaming Gladiators have just lost Quinn. Sniper oh, down, Brian back, the three of them. gone. This false promise gives Mickey so much confidence. He salved up by Insania to go back to full HP as well. Two lanes of barracks, 23 minutes in. Oh my god, this, this is insane. Now you've got Dagon's coming out of Nisha's Cottle. That's Dagon 2 coming. They're all full HP, all the time. Like this type of strategy, and they're drawing on a minab. Just go in and end right now. Hobbs on high ground. Gaming Gladiators trying to wrap around with Duraccio and Celery. They see the Rubik first though. Duraccio, he gets in, he but the, the Shadow off. is there. Boxy gets the hide away from this. Marcy now turning onto 3-3, but they've lost the IO. Buys back, the save comes, and Senior keeps them all alive. Ace dies, and Quinn in trouble. Gaming Gladiators getting dunked down by Team Liquid. GG! It's over! Liquid progress, Gaming Gladiators out, a 2-0 victory in swift fashion here. They have their number right now. Like, they beat them in the groups, and these were, like, very convincing game. First game, a little bit of a throw.